Hey everyone, while we're here, we're back and today we're doing another anti-MLM video and for this video we are heading back on over to Reddit, filtering by top post of this very week and just seeing what the Huns have been up to. I have no additional comments to make, I'm just excited to get into whatever post we have available to us this week so if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you really really like it please subscribe. Make sure to check out my description below for all of my fun links and with that short intro out of the way, let's get into reading these posts. Her previous slide was a video telling us that her fat burning coffee and skinny greens fizz drink was going to get rid of her migraine. She's not the best salesman. So it looks like she posted a picture and the picture says, so thankful I got the morning to rest this morning. Okay, and then it looks like she's on a typical MLM Zoom call with way too many people involved, probably saying very generic things that we have heard over and over again. And then we have, as always, the most disgusting looking MLM drink ever. And on the photo it says, can't shake this damn migraine even after a two hour nap, but the momentum are, but the momentum, our girls don't, our goal, oh my God. Can't shake this damn migraine even after a two hour nap, but the momentum, our goals don't stop. So time to stay close to the fire and grow even more. And then down here it says, and yes, coffee now is earlier. The smell made me nauseous. I mean, just looking at it makes me nauseous. How do you look at this and you're like, mmm, this'll help me. Also like the idea of like, Having, I guess usually like having a coffee, depending on how addicted you are to the caffeine, like it will make your headache go away. But like OP says is that they said in the very previous video, they were trying to promote this product because it helps take migraines away, but then stating that they couldn't even drink it because it made them so nauseous. Yeah, I agree with OP is that they're not the best salesperson. Um, most of them are not, you know, they're told to be as authentic and real as possible, but then that usually leads to not the best, like, salesperson. You know, you kind of have to be a little fake sometimes when you're selling this stuff. Um, you have to pretend like it's the greatest thing in the world, even when it's not. But I guess I can appreciate the authenticity of saying that it you know, made you nauseous because looking at it makes me nauseous. Also, this right here where they said, can't shake this damn migraine even after two hour nap, but the momentum, our goals don't stop. Like it's, that's a hard sentence to read. And then it's like, so time to stay close to the fire and grow even more. Yes, sitting on a Zoom call really, really, you know, get your fire going and makes you just the best person for this Arbon MLM. I'm going to assume that it's Arbon because they said fizz drink and that's usually Arbon's thing. Let's see what the comments say on this. I'm sure she preaches time freedom too while forcing herself to watch some dumb training with a migraine. Somebody else said release yourself from the nine to five shackles. She said shackle to a mandatory training drinking a puke drink with a migraine. At least it's not nine to five. It's probably like six or seven p.m. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it is like 6 or 7 p.m. at night and maybe they want to be shown on the Zoom call like drinking the product because they're like, this is what I'm supposed to do, right? Like I'm supposed to like be a product of the product. But it's like, you don't have to like show off to people in this call. Like they're, they're already in. You can't sell to them. They're not gonna, well, they could make you money, but I just have a feeling this person's at the bottom of the pyramid, so they're not making any money. But definitely at least like four people in this call probably are making some money, not as much as they claim to be making, but they're making something. These Amare Huns are getting iPhones. So it's a picture they're showing that they got an iPhone and it just says, thanks at Amare Global. OP down here writes, and iPads. As I've seen in this person's story, how the hell are they go going about doing this? I have no idea how any of this works as I stay far away from anything MLM. I need some of you to weigh in here. Is this part of the selling the lifestyle? Is this how they lure women who are desperate? I'm getting more irked by the day. So before I read the comments, my guess is that they just bought an iPhone and then they're claiming that the money they made from the MLM is how they got the iPhone. So they're using it as a carrot, I would say dangling a carrot to anyone who maybe is 
wanting the new iPhone or a new iPad and they're like, oh my God, I could really use a new phone. So then they may reach out to this person like, hey, what do you do? Like, like how do I get to this so that I can buy a new iPhone? Or they are kind of making it seem like the MLM gave them this new phone because they just thanked the MLM. So it kind of seems like, you know, thank you to my business for giving me a new phone, which a lot of companies do give phones. They're like, here, have have this phone. It's the work phone. You know, we'll pay for it. That's very common. And people don't have to go on Instagram and thank their company for it. It's not necessary because it's a part of what happens. But I don't think that's what's going on here. I think that they bought the iPhone and they are as always, like, thank the MLM for everything that you have in your life, for your Starbucks, your nails, your, your I'm going to say coffee, but it could be two different things. Uh, literally anything and everything that you do, you have to thank the MLM for because you are a slave to the MLM world. Uh, see what the comments say on this, though. There's definitely a hitch. No way these grifters are just giving away iPhones just like that. Somebody else said no. Real businesses will give traveling staff phones for free, but no way an MLM wouldn't make it part of some crazy incentive to work 80 hour weeks and buy up heaps of inventory. Somebody else said, sounds to me like they got a deal on several thousand iPhone 2s and for a nominal fee, they are gracing their downlines with this perk. Somebody else said, not iPhone 2s. <laughs> yeah, that could be the other thing is that it's maybe, you know, almost like the car program, like, hey, as long as you remain in this rank, like, even though I don't think they could necessarily take this away from them, but maybe, you know, only people in the higher up ranks are the ones getting iPhones. You know, it's definitely possible. They're coming up with more and more creative ways to entice other people to join and giving, you know, higher ups iPhones and saying, oh, thank the MLM. Like, oh my God, I'm so grateful my MLM gave me an iPhone. And it's like, that's not necessarily what happened. Like you had to hit a certain rank in order to get this iPhone, it's not like you just joined the company and they gave you an iPhone or you joined the company, hit a certain amount in sales and they gave you an iPhone. Like, I'm guessing you have to hit a certain rank in order to get this. And I just have a feeling that in order to hit that rank, you have to have a certain amount of people underneath you with also a certain amount of sales. So it's not just some free iPhone that was given out because they're so kind. Kang and Hun kicked out a venue for being a mermaid. So we have the Instagram story. It says got kicked out of. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. I'm just gonna say it's some sort of resort for being a mermaid in their pool. If you wanna have a good time, don't go there. I was pretty shocked, honestly. I mean, you're in Bali, so you, you know, they probably are like, you're disturbing people. What are you doing? Like, I don't know. It does seem a little weird. And I don't think it was for something as simple as like, they dressed up as a mermaid and they got kicked out. I'm thinking she was being extremely obnoxious and thinking that she owned the whole resort. So that's going to be my guess is that they make it seem like it was just something so simple like oh my god i was just being a mermaid and i got kicked out it's like no you're probably being rude and entitled oh op down here writes kang and hun is shocked that she is told to leave a venue while content creating as a mermaid for her online kangen business this demonstrates the pure entitlement of these mlm huns I'm, su I'm surprised she wasn't kicked out of more venues going on some of her content, actually. Uh, yeah, I mean, again, it just depends on the place. Like, if this is a more, like, upscale place and you're doing something like this, like, they're definitely going to be like, hey, you're kind of bothering people and we don't want that. And I think it is totally in the business's right to say, hey, don't do this. Like, you're disturbing people. And again, I really don't think it was for something as simple as like just taking pictures dressed like this. And it could be. It could be for something as simple as this. But again, how is you dressing like a mermaid gonna sell your ridiculous MLM water? Like, are you claiming that like mermaids swim in this water so that's why it's so majestic and wonderful to drink? Like, just it doesn't make any sense. Like, I don't know. Definitely entitlement for sure. Comments on the same. She was kicked out for not being an actual guest at the resort. Bali resorts are funny like that. The nice ones don't want Huns from the three-star motel hanging around their pools. 
So Neil said, Bali is really not somewhere you want to F around and find out. Yeah. And so he, and the OP said, exactly, especially with the blitz, blitz on badly behaved foreigners. Yeah, that's the other thing that I was thinking is like, you know, you're not, you're not in the States. And a lot of people, when they travel outside the States, they think they have this like entitlement to where they are and that they don't have to follow the laws of that country. And it's like, no, you have to follow the laws of that country. You don't get to go be an American and follow the laws of an American in that country. Like, they have a right to kick you out, especially if you're not even a guest there. If you just walked in and you just were dressed like this and they're like, are you not even a guest here? Like, get out. They absolutely have full on right to kick you out. And again, even if you were staying there and you're causing a nuisance, you're being annoying, you're being entitled, you're just they're doing whatever this is and think that you have the right to the whole area, yeah, they have a right to kick you out and it's totally okay. And, you know, you're saying like, oh, don't go here if you want to have a good time. I'm going to specifically go here. If I ever get a chance to go to Bali, I'm going to go here because clearly they have standards. The wannabe queen of coffee enemas and comment money if you want to be like me is pissed because someone tried recruiting her. Girl, by you're one and the same. Oh, man. So she wrote, for the one millionth time, you cannot recruit me anywhere for any reason. My team is on fire because I know how to lead. I don't cross recruit because I'm not sneaky, deceiving, or fake. If you feel the need to do this, you should reevaluate your position. And down here, oh, should we read? Let's see, because down here there's something else, but I'm gonna read. I'm guessing this is the recruitment message that she was sent. Hey babe, I just wanna say I just love your entire personality, attitude, and content. It's so refreshing to have upbeat people in the feed. We have so many things in common too. It's wild. There's no emojis in this, I'm kinda surprised. I know you're probably happy with where you are at, but I know a lot of people are experiencing some crazy things in the industry just within their teams, culture, and whatnot. But I just want to say I would love to work with you and have you join our team. I know it may not be the right time, and maybe you found your home, but it would be really silly of me not to just let you know how much I admire you, your leadership skills, and all that you bring. And our company even just launched a build your own bridge where leaders have the opportunity to make that money faster to replace what they are making somewhere else. I don't know, food for thought, because like I said, I don't know the ins and outs of your biz, culture, or anything like that. But I know we have some big leaders coming over here because of what we have. And then she responds, I don't want a bridge. I don't need a bridge. I built my own damn bridge. I have a team that relies on me, trusts me, and needs me. So politely, don't ever consider asking me. There's a reason I'm with the company that strongly coaches against this. <laughs> it's just so stupid. It's just such a funny thing to get offended by. Like, they are taught to basically convince other people to leave their jobs for the MLM, but reaching out to a different MLM to basically do the exact same thing, that's a hard no. That's, you're the worst person ever. Don't even consider doing that. But yet if you were to try and get someone to leave their corporate job, that's okay. You're stealing that person from that company, but that's, that's an okay thing because you're technically giving them their own business. You're doing the exact same thing. Just because it's not from within one MLM to the other MLM, it's from a different company to an MLM company, you're doing the exact same thing. It's just crazy how they don't see that. And they're literally screaming into a mirror with, with what this post is. Like she's angry really at herself because more than likely she messages people and tells them how they're so much alike and how amazing they are and how they'd be so good in her business. And also like the audacity down here to say, um, I have a team that relies on me, trust me, and needs me. 
I don't think it's your team that needs you. I think it's you that needs your team and relies on your team and has a lot of trust that your team is gonna stay with you and continue making you a bunch of money. So I'm glad that you're happy in your whatever MLM you're a part of. I believe OP says it's It Works, but, and I don't know why you'd be happy to be a part of It Works, um, but you know, you're there's no reason to get mad about somebody trying to recruit you because they are also told to reach out to anyone and everyone because you just never know what's the worst they could do is say no. Uh, the worst they could do is shame you on Instagram. <laughs> Apparently that's the worst they could do. Comments say, it's funny to me because all things considered, the other hun seems more polite and understanding than her. I agree. She was, you know, very MLM or 101, but you know, she, she shot her shot. I, I can't fault her for that. Uh, somebody else said, right. And another comment said, you can't exploit me. I'm already exploiting other people. <laughs> isn't that, isn't that true? <laughs> yeah, isn't that the truth? It's like you, like, it's so funny when it's put back on them. Like, it's like they're like offended that somebody would try and recruit them. It's like, can't they tell like how amazing and awesome I am in this company? It's like, give it a couple more years and I just have a strong feeling this person won't be in It Works anymore. They'll be a part of whatever new health and wellness MLM is on the scene and they'll be screaming that that's the best one ever and that the previous one didn't align with their values and their their whatever and it just wasn't and that them and their team are so much happier here. It's like, and, and so recruit all the people from the previous MLM to this new one. And it's like, it's okay then when they're the ones doing it. That's when it's okay, when they're the ones doing it. It's not okay when anyone else tries to do it. All right, and we have reached the end of the video. We all know what time it is. It is meme time. And I found this meme from a year ago on the subreddit, but I feel like it still applies. We're in fall 2023. So I just have a feeling that it doesn't make a difference that this is Boss Babe fall 2022 starter pack. I have a feeling 2023 also works for this along with 2021. And you know, maybe going 10 years back each year also works. So we have the Boss Babe Starter Pack, and we start with the Brim of Knowledge, which is the standard Monet Arbon Plexus Hun hat that we all know oh so well. And then we have the Fave Drink, so that could be Herbalife, Plexus, Arbon, all drinks that they say is their absolute favorite, but always looks like absolute garbage. Then we have the makeup, and that could be Saint or Mary Kay, and them talking about how it's makeup that has absolutely changed their life, and they love it, and they would never have anything else in their life ever, and every other place is garbage, and if you shot from Sephora or Ulta, then you're a monster. <laughs> and we have the fit, hashtag boss babe. What does this say? I want to zoom in closer. Oh, it says mama, 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 and then it's a tie-dye shirt. Now, I will say this is the only one that I think doesn't work because it should just be their, the company they paid to work for is logo on it. So Monet, Arbonne, Color Street, Beachbody, where it just has it right across the chest, usually black shirt, white letters, block letters, um, or white shirt, black letters, so it's one of the two, because, you know, they always have to be repping their MLM, and they were probably given that shirt for free at some convention that they claim is was free, um, but it's like there's so many companies that just give you shirts with the company name on it for free, and those companies actually pay you to work for the company, not the other way around. And the final thing is the pyramid. Oh, the pyramid of success. Yes, of course, because you are very successful being in this pyramid. Weirdly enough, only at the top are the people actually making any money. But of course, everything is a pyramid scheme. Am I right? Just because every company is shaped like a pyramid. And it's such a silly argument because it's like, Yes, I can agree with you there, but you know what's crazy is that outside of the MLM world, people who are in that pyramid um, are all making money, not just the people at the top, people at the bottom. They may not be making a lot of money, but they're paid to work there. They also don't have to recruit all of their friends and family and strangers to walk by. They also 
can get hired as just a manager or even somebody just in corporate. They don't have to work their way from the bottom up selling overpriced products. They also don't have to replace every item in their home with the company's products. They also don't have to sell the products for that company because that company more than likely already has an advertising budget where all of the money goes to advertisers and they pay advertisers to advertise those products so that the people working in the stores don't have to do that for them. Really crazy how all of that works. See, to me, one where, you know, people have to recruit in order to be successful kind of sounds a little pyramid schemey to me. While one where, yes, people may not be making that much money and people at the top are making more money, but at least people at the bottom are making money. One makes money, doesn't matter the amount, while the other spends a bunch of money while claiming it's their own business. You know, I'm just saying one does sound slightly better than the other because one, you're actually making money while the other, you're not. All right, you guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really, really liked it, please subscribe. Let's talk anything and everything anti-MLM in the comments below. And until my next video, I will see you guys then. Bye.